Welcome to another video about the science behind the surface pen. Okay, all right, I get it, I know. Enough about the pen already. You get it, right? Pen is important, blah, blah, blah. After all of these videos, you probably know exactly what I'm gonna say. Whole brain, low formality, visual and spatial, yada, yada. But I just can't help myself because I think that digital pen and paper is the most poorly understood piece of technology on the planet. It's right up there with artificial intelligence. And yet it may well be the most important piece of technology to help us to think our way out of the holes that we're currently in. I don't know about you, but when I look around, I don't think that humanity as a whole is getting smarter. There are forces at work that are inadvertently dumbing us all down. Now, I'm not gonna go moon landing conspiracy on you here. It's just consumeristic capitalism at work. Thinking is not required for you to keep purchasing new shiny next best things. If anything, it kind of gets in the way. One of the ways that you can buck the trend though is to take the time to use a pen and think clearly. But where does this whole pen thing fit into the big picture of work? Because it's clearly not everything. For office workers like me, typing is still a huge part of work. In fact, I think it's the biggest part of my work. I'd say that pen-based work probably occupies between 10 and 30% of my time in any given week, and possibly between 70 and 90% involves using a keyboard and mouse. That's because work is about more than ideas and thinking. Most of it's about doing. So if you're an office worker too, it's likely that your computer use has been focused on the doing part. So don't get me wrong, it's not time to throw away the keyboard. Even though the QWERTY English keyboard design is over 150 years old, you'd be hard pressed to find an English speaker that doesn't know how to use it, at least slowly. It's hard to imagine it ever going away. And here's why. You can't read my handwriting and sometimes neither can I. So presenting clear text that everybody can read requires a keyboard or at the very least handwriting recognition. It can be faster to type than to write. There is a misconception here though. You might be able to type at 120 words a minute on an online typing test but that's only the case where the content is given to you. In other words, you type the words that you're told to type. If you have to think, create, and type at the same time, you'll find that your typing speed slows considerably. So it's very unlikely that you'll ever hit anywhere near 120 words a minute when you're typing content that you're creating. On top of that, corrections and formatting also slow you down, but the point still stands. You can probably type faster than you can write. But just remember, it's a mechanical process and it won't activate your whole mind. So do note taking and thinking with the pen. Editing is far easier to do with a keyboard and mouse. In fact, if you learn keyboard shortcuts, editing tasks are far easier to do with just a keyboard and not even a mouse. The mechanical nature of these tasks lends themselves perfectly to the mechanical nature of the keyboard. If you don't have a repertoire of at least 20 keyboard shortcuts that you use yet, you need to do some work and we'll link to our video on keyboard shortcuts for Windows below. You simply can't be more efficient at operating your computer than with a keyboard. Learning to use a keyboard is much easier than learning to write with a pen. That's because a keyboard is a simple mechanical array of buttons. All you need to know is where the button is. You don't really need good fine motor skills, spatial awareness, or planning. The action is the same every single time, and the computer takes care of the space for you. So the keyboard is very useful and it's an important tool for work. In our videos, we focus on pen a lot. That's because we believe it needs a lot of your attention. It's also something that surprises and delights surface owners. It's the thing that is different when compared to the traditional laptops that people have had in the past. Keyboard centric thinking is broken and it needs to be fixed and set free from its mechanical bonds. But keyboard work is work and it's important too. So don't throw away your keyboard. The keyboard and trackpad on the Surface Pro are excellent, by the way. Great key travel and feel. It's a good size. The trackpad is really handy once you learn how to use it efficiently. And the pen part, well, you, like me, might only spend 10 to 30% of your time using it, but it's the part that you can gain the most from. If you'd like to know more about anything Surface, including keyboard, trackpad, mouse, pen, touch, cameras, microphones, or speakers, then you're in the right place. Hit that subscribe button and the bell, and we'll show up on YouTube next week.